What's notable about the Beyond Burger is that we have chosen to work with retailers to merchandise a product not in the freezer section, but to merchandise them in the meat section. And our belief is that we will transform the meat section into the protein section. So it's no longer just hamburger, chicken, you know, chicken breast. It's cow protein, chicken protein, and plant protein. And the results have been phenomenal. We have launched this now in the two largest retailers in the United States. In several regions, the Beyond Burger is the top selling packaged burger in the meat section. Not the top selling plant-based burger in the meat section, the top selling packaged burger in the meat section. And that's transformational. And what I'm excited to announce today is that starting this summer, starting in July, the Beyond Burger will be launching distribution throughout Europe. Hey everybody, this is Klaus from Plant Based News and I'm with Head of Written Content for Plant Based News, Maria. How's it going? Yeah, really good, thanks. And Seth Goldman, the Executive Chairman of Beyond Meat, correct? I am absolutely delighted to be here. It's a big, big day for us. When we launched the Beyond Burger in the United States, uh, we got more inquiries, more social chatter from the UK than any other country in the world. And so just a matter of putting the pieces together, getting the regulation and you know compliant, and of course the distribution. And, and now it's here, so mm -hmm. thrilled to be here. I'm really excited to ask you some questions about your product, but before that, just want to say that Maria, who's written extensively about Beyond Meat, yeah. you've never actually had the Beyond Burger, right? <laughs> no, this, this is a big, big day for me as well, because this is the first time I'm ever going to try this burger, and I'm very excited. So you've had a couple of bites, how is it? It's really good, it's, it's uncanny. I haven't eaten meat for more than six years. It's the texture, I haven't ever had anything that's captured that same texture. But also the kind of, there's a charred flavor to it as well. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's very, very meaty. <laughs> that's wonderful yeah. to hear. That's, yeah. that's certainly the, the hoped for response, right? Have you got anything exclusive to tell us about kind of when the Beyond Sausage is going to launch and your other products no in the other countries? Yeah, Beyond Sausage is, is, is uh, still exclusively in Whole Foods in the United States. We are not able to keep up with the demand just in that chain. So it's going to be uh, a, a while before it makes it over, over, over to uh, Europe. Great. Anything else exclusive that you can tell us about? distribution or yeah, how well, you've been liaising with restaurants and companies? Well, for us, you know, launching in Tesco is a really exciting step. Um, we, you know, we had to think about what is the right strategy when we come to the UK. Uh, and, and there were other chains that were interested, which you know, are wonderful chains, but we felt like we really wanted to be with, in the mainstream. We, we, I've always said we want to democratize plant-based protein. We don't want to just be in the what we would say in the US, the posh channels. We want to be available wherever um, you know, protein is sold. And so for us, Tesco is a great launch partner. They've committed to putting it in both you know, the, the, the protein section or the meat section, as well as in the freezer section. I'm here with Derek Sarno, Tesco's head of plant-based innovation at the UK Beyond Burger launch. So how big a deal is this for the UK plant-based food scene? This is the biggest deal ever. So for, to have Beyond Burger in the UK is like groundbreaking. You know, there's been a lot of other burgers out there, but I can honestly say like this is probably is the best that I've had. Right, so here we go. Very lucky to be one of the first people in the UK to try the Beyond Burger. Oh, look at that. Okay, well, um, yeah, all, all I can say is wow. Have you, have you tried some? It's amazing. Oh my god. It tastes like McDonald's, uh, but like in a good way. 